Well, hard to believe it was 20 years ago today that the Berlin Wall came crashing down. The wall that separated West Berlin from the rest of East Germany had stood for 28 years before coming down. The event is considered symbolic of the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the communism. But joining us, uh, Orange Communism, joining us live to talk about the anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall is Richard Johnson, chairman of the political science department at Oklahoma City University. Thank you very much, Professor, for your time this evening. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me, Judge. Uh, this was an event that most Americans uh, doubted uh, would ever happen. Does it ever have any real meaning now for a generation that grew up with no Soviet Union, no Russian bear, so to speak? I think unless you li live through the experience of the Cold War, the fall of the Berlin Wall does not have the same significance. Two decades later, what do you see as the lasting message to political leaders around the world? Well, a couple of things. One, I think it's important to stand by your principles in foreign policy, and I think also it's important to realize that things are achievable that you think are not achievable today. Anything can happen with proper work. Well, on the flip side, the rise in Russian nationalism would suggest that tensions between the East and West remain unresolved. Were there opportunities lost to improve relations with the Russians after the wall came down 20 years ago today? Well, there probably were moments in time, but the, the great deal of instability within the Soviet Union, you might point to the latter Yeltsin years or the first few years of his successor, but those moments were few in time. In commemorating the anniversary, uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said the anniversary was a call to action for the world to tear down other walls. She sees those walls as being in the Middle East. Do you agree? I, I absolutely do. I think some of the actors are changing when you, when you talk about Israel and Palestine. And when those, those changes occur, then new opportunities do at least potentially become available. Well, the conversion to a capitalistic society has been painful for the nations of the Eastern European bloc. Are those pains any less now? Uh, they are in some places. It's, it's not a simple one-size-fits-all solution. But there are countries like Poland and the Czech Republic who uh, made the conversion a little easier and were further ahead. There are other countries uh, that are a little more backward, like Bulgaria, Romania, it's still a tough, tough situation. Well, how about those of us in the West? Uh, have, have we been, uh, uh, could we have done more to help those in the Eastern Bloc that have been a little hesitant about doing this? I think so, but uh, when you look at it, I think the expansion of the EU will be the, uh, the big solution over the long haul. What is the difference between the way Americans see this anniversary and how it is viewed in Europe and other parts of the world, free and otherwise? Well, the other parts of the world probably do not have the same appreciation that we do. Uh, I think the people, in, particularly in Western portions of Europe, see it in a much more personal manner than we do. I think it's very important to them and their history, is, and I think it's, it's clearly important to us as well. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union and the Berlin Wall, what is the ongoing impact to communism as a political ideology? We have Cuba, we have China. Well, where we still have, well, if you look back, a Stalinist regime really only remains in uh, the hands of Kim Jong-il. You look at places like Vietnam and uh, China where the communists are still in control, it's been a much more pragmatic, much less doctrinaire system. We are marking today's anniversary since, uh, anniversary since it's been 20 years since the event. Do you think we will be celebrating still in another 10 or 20 years, or does this fade off into the sunset along with the generations who, well, those of us who lived through the Cold War? Well, I do think it will be a memory, maybe not in 10 years, but maybe in 20. And, and perhaps it's a good thing uh, in the long run, but I, I know how significant it was for me when this event occurred, and uh, uh, I don't think that's ever going to leave me. And me too. Professor, thank you very much for your time this night. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. All right.